Okay, let's do New York State. I think that's New York State, yeah. Woof. All right, here is an amazing chart. So this, um, let me try and explain it. The dotted black horizontal line shows the um, available hospital beds, right? And the good news is it does kind of move up because I think, uh, you know, they're trying to increase capacity of the hospitals. And here's where we are today. You notice that the colored lines are underneath the black line. So this is where we are today. And we have enough. We have less people that need hospitalization than the black line. So if you're in New York today and you need to go to the hospital. Oh, by the way, Dr. A, given an example of a super chat. <laughs> Woo. Thank you, Dr. A. All right. So if you are in New York, you're fine. Because today, there are enough hospital beds for you if you develop um, any sort of severe case of COVID or if you need the hospital for another reason. However, you might be wondering, well, what do the colored lines represent? So one colored line is this red one, where it's what would happen if there were limited... Um, action. Like we don't tell people to stay at home. We tell them like, hey, everybody just go out and party and go to concerts and hang out at the beach and just be your, be your awesome selves. The problem with that limited action plan is that pretty much by April, looks like April 1st uh, or maybe 2nd, we would actually have more people. We'd be crossing the hot black line, which is the number of hospital beds we have in New York. And we could actually have only around 22,000 hospital bed capacity and 38,000 people that needed hospitalizations by April 4th. So you would have um, almost for every one hospital bed you might have almost two people that needed that hospital bed. Now, obviously, you're already hearing about nurses and doctors like having darn near meltdowns in some hospitals. Be and this is now just end of March uh, with, with a pretty aggressive lockdown. Um, so that's what happens if you have limited action. So we should probably avoid that strategy. Then there is, well, what if you told people this green one to shelter in place um, and just stay home, work from home, don't go out unless you really have to, but let's say it doesn't really work that well, uh, then you could potentially exceed capacity of the hospitals by April 8th. You might need 30,000 hospitalizations, but only have 23,000 beds. And if the shelter in place thing really doesn't work, it could peak at the end of April, where New York State may require 172,000 hospitalizations with um, only 30,000 uh, beds. Uh, this would be a problem. This would be basically five times as many people needing hospitalization as New York has beds. Now, and it's not just the COVID people. I mean, you got to think about just normal people that get sick that now can't go to the hospital, right? So um, that would be terrible. And then you have this other one, this light blue, which is if we do shelter in place and best case scenario, like it really works and people listen and they, they follow it and it doesn't spread too much. At that point, at the end of April, yes, yes, you could, you could have more people that need hospitalization than beds by a few thousand, but you know, maybe we, um, 
well, each of those ships that President Trump keeps talking about, they only hold a thousand people. So you would need an extra three of those Navy uh, ships, or you would have to uh, 3,000 more beds. You'd have to maybe take over stadiums and hotels and dorms and things. You could, I think you could find a way if you do the, the shelter in place and in the best case scenario, if you do shelter in place, worst case scenario, it's, it's, uh, I don't know. It's, it's bad, man. Um, so yeah, that's New York. And this is why I think governor Cuomo is, um, really sounding the alarm bells. Um, but you might be thinking like, well, that's New York. They're kind of, they have that big city. Um, I know people ask about Texas. So let's look at Texas's line. So Texas, the good news is even in the worst case scenario with limited action, they won't exceed their hospital capacity until April 16th. Um, if they do uh, social distancing, they won't hit their capacity until maybe May, uh, late April, early May. Um, yeah. Um, and then at worst case scenario, if the social distance, if they just do social distancing and they don't do shelter in place, you know, they could, by the end of May, require 250,000 hospitalizations, but only have 50,000, uh, beds. So five X. Now you could hope that they only need the hospital bed for like a day. I don't think that's probably accurate. I'm guessing if you have to go to the hospital because you have intense COVID stuff, um, you're you're not going to be there for a day. Oh, you guys want a link? Sure. Sorry, guys. It's covidactnow.org, but I'll I'll put it in the chat. Here you go. Here you go, nerds. Hopefully, the spam filters don't take out my my link. So Texas, I would summarize as saying, you probably need to do more than this social distancing. Now, if you do um, lockdown, you're in great shape. I mean, I can't even see the colored line for their, that's the purple. Yeah, you're fine. You do lockdown, you're good. Um, so my recommendation is you may wanna do lockdown. In fact, the recommendation based on this model is that by April 18th, Texas should uh, implement its uh, lockdown or at least a shelter in place. You could you could still make it with shelter in place. So just do the shelter in place uh, by April 18th and Texas should be fine. And now let's look at California and then I'll take one more state request and then, oh Jesus, California is not looking good. California, if they shelter in place for three months, in the best case scenario, they have it. They are under the dotted line. In the worst case scenario, they could have 344,000 hospitalizations with only 50,000 beds. Um, so the shelter in place is projected to reduce the overload over the next three months if it works as planned. So if you're in California, uh, stay sheltering in place and continue to do that until uh, this summer. Yikes. Okay. Um, any other state requests? I'll do one more state and then we'll move on. I did California Quap. West Virginia. Okay. Yeah, let's do West Virginia. Let's see here. Is this West? Which one's West Virginia? Hopefully it's this one. No, shit, that's Tennessee. Oh, no. They don't label these. There we go. Second try. Okay, so if you're in West Virginia and there's limited action, uh, you could need 37,000 hospitalizations with... Uh, state capacity of 4,800. So that would be probably pretty terrible. If you do a shelter in place, worst case, uh, you basically overload your hospitals by end of May. 
But if you have shelter in place best case, then you're fine. So uh, you should definitely shelter in place uh, because even then in the worst case scenario, you're overloaded. But in the um, uh, best case scenario, shelter in place, you're in really great shape and you'll be fine. Uh, but if you do this limited action plan, I don't know why anyone would do that. You'd be in big trouble. And if you're in Western Virginia today, you're probably not worried because you know that no one's having trouble getting a hospital. Um, if you do limited action, you won't really feel the pressure until end of April, early May. All right. So that was West Virginia. I think basically every state should, uh, <laughs> Ryan saying, I think we get the point. Yes. Uh, you should, uh, you should shelter in place. Okay. So that is that data. I have more. Okay. Here's the deal. 